Hello and welcome to a new video. Tonight I'm taking the Honda Navi out for a night ride. Made evident by the fact that it's dark out. I'm starting on Goss Avenue in the Germantown neighborhood in Louisville, Kentucky. And then I'm going to go um, over by the UVL area, University of Louisville. It's been very hot locally here, which, depending on where you're watching from, could be very hot where you're at, quite likely. Um, you know, temperatures in the mid to upper 90s with a heat index that's you know over 100 over 100 degrees so haven't been doing a whole lot of riding during the day mostly been uh anything i did is you know at night time because i just uh don't want to sit up there and bake in the sun and overheat the bike or anything which you know with this nav yeah i actually have not taken this out in super super warm temperatures to see you know how it fares does it shut off does it overheat what happens i haven't really done that to this point But at the same time, uh, I mean, I'm not super worried about that. I just haven't really done much uh, riding in super warm temps. But now that I'm going nighttime, you know, it's down in the high 70s. So quite a bit cooler. And I'm on, um, was it Merriweather, and I'm about to turn on to East Burnett Street. And it's, uh... Sunday night, so probably won't be super, super busy out, or one would think. So I know I've gone by the University of Louisville during the daytime, but I don't think I've gone by before at night. So I figured I'd uh, ride by here to some, some of the areas. Now I'm on uh, Floyd Street, I believe. And I occasionally use different camera setups as I record these videos. This time I'm using the Insta360 1R camera with the 1 inch sensor. So just it's a, a bigger sensor that should do better in low light than a GoPro or something. And um, I'm always testing different setups. And I've used uh, the DJI Pocket 2 before for nighttime footage. Uh, and that looks great, just the only issue is it's actually a gimbal, so it's kind of like a, you know, a stick with the camera on the top. Uh, and it's not huge, but, you know, when I attach it to the chest mount on the GoPro, uh, I have to be careful when I'm wearing a full face helmet that I don't knock the camera with the chin piece of the helmet. Poor little outdoor cat just ran through. Uh, because then it's, you know, not great to knock the uh, gimbal part of the camera, screw it up. 
So that's the really only downside to using that camera is you just have to kind of be careful not to uh, nudge it with the helmet. I mean, I've done it a few times. It doesn't hurt anything from what I can see, but I figure it's probably better to avoid it. So I'm just trying this other camera setup to see if I do manual settings, does it look better at nighttime. So now I'm going down Floyd Street past the University of Louisville. It looked like at the dorm there were some people moving in. I guess. I mean, I, I don't... Or, I don't keep up to date on exactly what dates the semester start, but and uh, there are a number of red lights down through this area. I've come through before Evel's campus on e-bikes and stuff and ridden around at night. Not going to do that with the Honda Navi. And this is uh, a road that goes behind um, the football stadium if you keep following it. Because this is uh, Brook Street. And if you turn left to go under this tunnel, I think that is Old Eastern, according to the sign that was there. I'm not a historian by any margin uh, when it comes to the roads around here. There's a lot of stop signs. Don't think I'm too much risk of anybody else really coming through this, aside from campus security or something. But yeah, this is a bridge. It's kind of a bypass that goes behind the football stadium. Comes out to Third Street. Again, hopefully the. Uh, camera footage comes out pretty decent here isn't too jittery or shaky the camera itself is relatively heavy but it's on a chest mount it didn't seem like that other car cared too much about the stop signs yeah it since this is not a 360 camera, it's just facing straight ahead. You probably can't see all the stuff around the football stadium, but it's over to the left. And then the baseball stadium is over to the left as well. The Jim Patterson baseball stadium. It's always, in my opinion, pretty fun to go for night rides on the motorcycles and such. Um, it's usually much cooler. You know, I just like the way things look at night. downside is the visibility sometimes isn't super great and this is an area where there's often uh, semis or box trucks that get stuck as they go under and they're too tall
and then they go in and get stuck. So I'll go around here. This is one of the areas of campus you usually see if you look at online videos about the school. If you're watching sporting events, they'll often have camera shots set up around campus or something, or footage they may have gotten earlier or something. A lot of times they'll get stuff here. There's the the thinker statue which is over here to the right it's probably not super visible because it's a statue that's dark and it's nighttime but um it's over here And then down through this area, this, there's the school's library and the Speed Art Museum, which is over here on the right. So that's the uh, art museum. They have a cinema there as well where they show screenings of things. Now I'm starting to approach Cardinal Boulevard and go into Old Louisville, which I do not want to do. over here <laughs> so yeah that was going for a night ride um, started out in the Germantown area on Goss Avenue and then went through over to the U L area went around the University of Louisville campus went down Floyd Street and then 3rd Street. Now I'm in their parking lot. I'm going to turn around. But yeah, so that was taking out the Honda Navia for a ride. Until next time.